Ladies and gentlemen, beer enthusiasts, welcome to a quick unboxing today. I have a few quick things that I want to show you. Uh, if you watched my previous brewing video when I brewed a Belgian ale, you heard me say that I made a big boy purchase and bought a refractometer. Um, with that, I also got a few more things for brewing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, some of the upgrades I've got and some things that will help us out brewing in the future. One of those things including, that you saw in the intro, this bad boy right here. This is from Craft A Brew. Um, it is a Heffenweizen brewing kit. So in it, we should have um, a carboy fermenter, one gallon. This one is glass. We should have an airlock, a funnel, um, with the rubber stopper, a clamping tube, a transferring tube, a racking cane, a thermometer, and some stuff to make a Heffenweizen beer. We're going to pop that open in just a second. As you might have seen, this came in a FabFit fun box. Um, we found it on there and decided to give it a shot. I'm not sponsored by them by any means, and uh, I mean, I, I would like to be, I suppose, so, you know, you hit me up. This is not an affiliate plug or anything like that. That's where we got it from. This exact same kit here is available on Amazon for $44, if I remember correctly, so I can leave a link down in the description for that. The link for Amazon for this will be an affiliate link, just so you're aware, so if you do decide to go ahead and purchase it, I want to say thank you because it does go and support the channel just a little bit. Also, you may notice I am not drinking a beer today. Um, sadly, the fridge is empty minus a Red's Apple Ale. You guys get it. It's a sad day. In the box here. You're about to brew some mighty good beer. Nice. Oh, and right on top, we have the instructions. We don't need those. I don't know how to brew. I'm going to need those. Yeah. And here's the rubber stopper, got that. And a small funnel there. And here is our thermometer here. It is a nice glass thermometer. Good for 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, yes, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. What else is in this bad boy? There is the racking cane. This will help you funnel it from the glass fermenter. Like such, and then the tubing comes out like that. But yes, this is the one gallon carboy. Be able to make one gallon batches instead of two gallon batches now. The rubber tubing connects to the cane. And there's the airlock and stopper. Uh, that will go in here like that, sit on there, keeps everything out of your work while it's fermenting. No bacteria. And this bag here most likely is our grains and such, I would assume. Okay, yes. So we have a muslin sack, and wrapped in it we have some fresh yeast and sanitizer, dry sanitizer. Oh, the hops are going to be tetanang. Not sure if I pronounce that right, but um, small package of hops. And I believe that's pre-milled grain. Uh, yes it is. Dry malt extract. So I haven't used dry malt extract yet. I've only used liquid malt extract. There's a reason for that. I've heard that dry malt extract sucks. You know those malt balls? Um, hold on. What are those? The, uh, oh, Whopper. I'm an idiot. Okay, if you've ever eaten one when you bite into it, there's all that malt powder in the middle and it kind of clumps in your mouth if you get a really nice big bite of it. That's what this is, it's malt. So you throw it in water and it's going to stick together, clump up, and apparently it's really pain in the butt to get it to mix in well and dissolve. You have to work with breaking it up, keeping it from scorching on the bottom, and stirring it thoroughly so that it actually mixes in. But you know what? We're going to try it. Bavarian Wheat Dried Malt Extract. We'll give it a go. That is everything out of this box here. So just to recap, we got the fermenter, which honestly we'll use so many times, um, the ingredients to make the Heffenweizen, the capper, a very small funnel, and thermometer and tubing. So that's everything that came in this Craft a Brew Heffenweizen kit. Great purchase, especially if you're looking to continue brewing. So a link is down there in the description for you. Please, you know, maybe, maybe check it out. Maybe check it out. All right, I'm going to get this table cleared off, and I'm going to show you guys some of the other stuff that I purchased. Can we get someone to clean this up, please? Ah, movie editing. Whoa! Yeah, it's not real magic. Anyways, so here are some of the other things that I bought 
to make life a little bit easier while brewing. All right, so all this stuff that I'm about to show you here was all picked up at the Friar Tuck location in Peoria, Illinois, when we were up there on a quick little weekend getaway. So because we don't really have a homebrew shop here in Des Moines, I took advantage of the one there in Peoria while we were there. And they had some really good prices, so I couldn't pass it up. First on the list is a stir stick. This is my new brewing spatula. I can maybe stir it without spilling everything. I just thought it'd be cool to have a brew stick, you know? Now we had one funnel, but now we have a large funnel. And this one will definitely help out with the uh, Mr. Beer fermenter that we always seem to spill stuff into, or over the lid of. This should minimize that, thank goodness. This here is a bottling wand. So basically the idea is you put it down in the bottle, you push it down, the liquid flows into the bottle, and then as soon as the bottle is full as much as you like, you pull it up and cuts off the fluid and holds it in the tube. So it's gonna make bottling really nice and easy. So the next few things I'm about to show you guys, I'm extremely excited for because it's gonna make bottling so much easier, so much cooler, and just, I feel like, make the beer taste better overall. What is that thing? Or things, I should say? This is a glass bottle. That is right, we are moving from plastic bottles to glass bottling. But with glass bottles, you need a few things. And the one thing is a capper. So basically, this is what this is. Stick it on there with the cap, and it does all the work for you. But to do that, you need caps. So we got caps. They're just kind of generic caps, nothing really special. So we're going to be capping here pretty soon. The last thing I have to show you, sorry, I guess that's technically next to last because I still have to show you the refract meter, but you guys already kind of saw how that worked with the previous brew day I did. But the last thing that we'll use that I picked up, this big old thing right here. This is a bottle tree. You put your dirty bottles, kind of like a Christmas tree, voila. Now they can air dry, all the liquid flows down and into this tray here. Basically this I can put downstairs in the basement or somewhere out of the way so that all my bottles don't have to sit in the kitchen because who would have thought, but um, my wife hates bottles all over the kitchen. Makes sense I guess. So now she'll be happy, I'm happy, and I have glass bottles. So I'm the winner, haha. <laughs> Alright, and uh, now that we got the bottling tree and all the bottling supplies and stuff out of the way, the last thing I have to show you is my refractometer. If you're already a brewer, of course, you're going to know what this is. And if you watched my previous video where I brewed the Belgian beer, you're going to kind of understand what this is. Uh, you're just going to get a closer look of it now. This is a refractometer, and uh, we'll get a nice close-up shot for you guys right there. Basically, what this does is you take your dripper here, and you get a little bit of your wort, and then you put it right here on this blue lens there. You'll see the blue lens. Drip it on the blue lens. Put the white lens down. Look at the light and look through it. And basically it'll tell you what your gravity reading is for your beer. It's a really handy tool. Really nice piece of equipment. Extremely nice. I'm, I'm excited to have it. Other than the um, brewing kit for the Heppenweizen, this is the only thing that I got online. So I will leave a link for this down in the description for you guys um, and as well as a couple other ones that might be cheaper or something like that. Refractometer, hydrometer suck. Alright, I'm hoping that's in focus but I'm not really sure. We're just gonna roll with it but uh, if not, sorry guys. Either way, this is the garage. A little bit of a different outro for today. Uh, the fridge is definitely slanted so I apologize for the camera looking all weird. Um, it doesn't sit even. Our Belgian beer is fermenting inside of there so it should be able to be bottled here uh, this week. Um, and then we'll wait another two weeks or so for it to carbonate and then we'll have a tasting video. So we'll kind of do like a bottling tasting video into one video. We won't make it two videos. The other reason you're out here is because it's going to be kind of hard to tell, but there's this little box right back here that's kind of red, about right there. Uh, that is a new piece of equipment I got and it helps regulate this fridge. It's an Inkbird device and I got it off of Amazon. Uh, pretty cheap actually. I think it was like 30 bucks. I might be wrong on that, but very, very cheap. And I'll leave a link down in the description for you uh, in case you're wanting to brew or something. Real nice piece of equipment, one of my favorite things that I picked up. It's going to make fermenting a lot easier and quicker. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. we got some more brewing ahead of us. We're going to brew that Heavenweizen. we got to bottle our Belgian and taste our Belgian. We're going to have some people try some beers that they probably don't like. It's going to be a great time. There's a lot going on. So make sure you're there for that. You don't want to miss it. And as always, 
Cheers to you. Even though I don't have a beer. Missy's outside playing with a stick. Missy's running laps outside now. She's having a great time. I think it was a car lounge.